shooting's good. Your shooting is good. Do it again. Sight the lowest part of the V. Cheek resting against the stump. I had a father, thank you. I didn't. Ooh, God. Dang it, I'm good. The original 1960 The Magnificent Seven is a sturdy property. Not only was that original a remake of a Japanese film, The Seven Samurai, but it had three sequels, plus a TV series, plus a lot of other odds and ends thrown in. It's been around a long time, so it's no surprise that there's a new version, also called The Magnificent Seven, that's in theaters now. It stars Denzel Washington as the leader of a band of outlaws who come together to defend a small village against predatory bandits. As I say, it's a very sturdy concept, it's a strong idea, but this version kind of is dead in the water. It doesn't really come to life. Director Antoine Fuqua, who's made some terrific urban films like The Equalizer and Training Day, he's just not quite at home in the Old West, even though he says he's a fan of the genre. And also the film has a jokey quality. Its co-star is Chris Pratt, who's very funny in films like Guardians of the Galaxy, but in the attempt to bring humor to this project, it hurts the audience's ability to take the story, to take the plight of the small town in danger as seriously as it should. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.